Hi, uh, my name is Hilary Ostermiller. I'm the Instruction and Online Learning Librarian here at Columbia College Chicago Library. And the little white fluff ball that you just saw a little bit of, that's my dog, Una. And both of us want to give you just a quick overview of some of the resources and services available to you at the library. So first of all, I wanted to mention that we have a lot of these video tutorials. If you go to our YouTube channel, which is CCC Library Tutorials, uh, you'll see that there are lots and lots of videos and a lot of playlists. So if you haven't checked it out before, I strongly recommend taking a look at the Using the Library and Library Search playlist. And I'll put a link to that in the description of this video as well. But where we're going to start is the Creative Writing Research Guide. And that's at this URL, libguides.colum.edu, Creative Writing. It's from the library homepage. And I'll include this link in the description of the video as well. First thing to look at is we have this quick PDF that's just 10 things you might not know about our library. First of all, it's located at 624 South Michigan. The outside looks like this. And the first thing to mention is the course reserves that are available, which you'll have for this class as well. All textbooks that are over $40 are automatically placed on reserve at the library. What that means is that if you know that you have a required text for the class, and it would be more than $40, just go into the library go to the front desk on the first floor, tell them the book you're looking for. You'll just need to show your Columbia ID, which is also your library card. And then those materials just need to be used in the building um, so that they're available to everyone. However, you can scan things and email them to yourself. You can make printouts. Um, so you can grab the information that you need from the text, but the text itself stays in the building. Obviously, many of our uh, books, most of our books, don't have such restrictions. You can take them out as you wish. I strongly recommend looking through this page. It's really short, and it, I promise you'll learn something new. Like I said, we're going to start here. So this creative writing research guide kind of gathers together a lot of resources that you might use throughout your time at Columbia. I particularly wanted to go to our page on featured books because we have sections on um, a section on poetry. So these featured books are new titles or titles of particular interest. For example, we have a temporary uh, spotlight on bell hooks. And any of the book covers that you see are clickable. So if you see something you're interested in, you just click on the book cover and it's going to take you directly to the record as if you had searched it from the main page of the library catalog. It'll just jump you right in there. And we can see here it's available in the stacks. The stacks are on the third, fourth, and fifth floor of the library. That just means it's where all the books are shelved. And there are signs all over the library telling you which numbers are in which location. I can tell you that poetry, which is generally around 811, all of those numbers, that is up on the fifth floor. So another cool thing you can do by browsing online, so obviously you can go into the building, you can browse the shelves, see things of interest. You can also do a virtual browse. So there's an option here on the left that says virtual browse. And if we jump to that, you can see what would be around it on the shelves as well. So that might be another way to explore the collection. Many of our books are also available online. So this one, for example, it's available online. If we click the cover. To access it, you'll just need to click here where it says full text availability, and then you can just see it online. Another way to explore the collection might be through these subject headings. So you might be really interested in spoken word or sound poetry. If you click on that, you can see more books about that in that area, and also um, audio as well, so not just books. So again, lots to explore, and this might be just a good little starting point for it. Another piece of information that's on this guide, the last thing I want to show you, is if we go back to the home page, 
I'm on this guide. So I work specifically with the English and Creative Writing Department as well as the Theater Department. So if you have any questions about anything from the library, if there are materials that we don't have in our collection that you think we should have, let me know. Um, you can email me right here. The reason that that's a big button that says email me, it's very big, is on purpose. I really wanna hear from you. So good luck with the semester. Please reach out if you have any questions and uh, enjoy exploring the resources available to you.